The WS5, WS5A, and WS6 tools are designed to remove underlying insulation to expose the conductor. Our WS5 series tools will efficiently strip insulation from 0.260 inches, 6.6 millimeters, to 1.285 inches, 32.6 millimeters OD, and our WS6 end stripper is for 0.96 inches, 23.4 millimeters, up to 1.9 inches, 48.3 millimeters OD. After selecting the proper bushing, the WS5A tool can now be adjusted for end stripping. Install the bushing in the tool by lining up the rib on the bushing with the slot on the tool body. Raise the cutting blade by depressing the outer edge. Push the locking pin and insert the bushing until it locks in place. The bushing must be flush with the end of the tool. To remove the bushing, depress the locking release pin on the housing and slide the bushing out. Set the depth stop to the desired conductor length by rotating the knurled knob and reading the indicator on the side of the tool. The final adjustment is to check the blade for proper stripping position. To do this, place the tool with the bushing installed over the cable end. The blade should be approximately 1 32nd of an inch, 0.8 millimeters, above the conductor surface. If the blade is too deep or too shallow, Simply make the necessary adjustments using the blade adjustment screw. To begin stripping, place the tool over the cable until it comes in contact with the blade. Turn the tool in a clockwise direction until the conductor reaches the stop. The blade will automatically sever the insulation cleanly at the end of the cut. The tool will not have to be set again for this particular size cable. If desired, size the bushing to end strip over the semicon then remove the required length of semicon after end stripping.